Okay, quick disclaimer. I painted this coffee mug. I thought it would be funny to write pothead on it and then put a little pot of coffee. And then I very quickly realized that I cannot paint anything, which is why I'm gonna stick to editing. Okay. What's up guys? It's your artistically challenged friend Nadia and Sands here for another very exciting episode of Learn How to Edit Stuff. You have no idea. This week I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a really cool lyric video inside of After Effects. Conceptually, I got the inspiration from a lyric video by Rory Kramer. Now, if you don't know who Rory Kramer is, he's incredible. Long story short, he travels all around the world with musicians like Justin Bieber and the Chainsmokers and he shoots videos for them, does photography, makes content. He's amazing. Anyways, this is the lyric video that he did for Paris. We were staying in Paris to get away from your parents and I thought, wow. Pretty cool, right? So thank Rory for the inspiration for today's video because this is what we're creating. Hell yeah, that's my remix of Cool for the Summer. Vibes. If you guys want to follow along, download the song in the video description below so you can go step by step with me or wait for it. Use the knowledge that you learned in today's video to do your own cool thing and don't just copy me or do. You know, I like it when you do. Today's lesson is probably gonna be a little bit more advanced than some of you are used to. We're gonna be doing a lot of After Effects stuff with the 3D camera. If you haven't done either one of those things, today should be pretty fun. All right guys, open up Premiere first. We're starting there. Then we'll move over to After Effects. It's gonna be fun. All right guys, the first step in doing this is going to be to get the music into your project. So I've imported the Cool for the Summer clip. I'm gonna drop it onto my timeline and here it is. Very good. The second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come down to this new item button and create a color map. Doesn't really matter what uh, color it is because you'll see later. Just trust me on this. And we're going to drop the color mat down onto our timeline. And now we're gonna start cutting the color mat where we want our lyrics to start. So for example, Take Me Down is right here. Into Your Paradise. Don't be scared. Cause I'm your body. So we're just gonna do these lyrics today because I don't wanna do the entire length of the chorus because this video would then be like an hour and a half long and nobody wants to deal with that. So we're just gonna deal with these first couple lyrics today. Cool? All right, you have no choice anyway. So I'm actually gonna cut off the rest of the song so I'm not tempted to do more. So we're only gonna be dealing with these lyrics today. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is highlight all of them on your timeline, right click on it and go to replace with After Effects composition. It'll ask you to save, save your project, name it whatever you want. And then After Effects will open and down here on the timeline, you see all of the slices you did on your color mat in Premiere. Now these are just basic markers that are telling you where the next lyric of the song is. So the next logical step would be to open up the title tool up here, this little T, click in your composition and we're gonna start writing lyrics. To save some time in this video, I've gone ahead and wrote all the lyrics down. So take me down into your paradise. Don't be scared cause I'm your body type. So I have all my text stacked on top of each other. It looks really messy, that's okay. Yours might look like this too, but the next thing that we're going to do is highlight all of them by holding down shift and clicking on the bottom one and then clicking on the top one to highlight all. Hit S on your keyboard, which will open up the scale properties. And I'm just gonna scale all these down to 10%, really super tiny. And I'll show you why in a minute. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna arrange your text in some sort of format that you can follow with your camera. And you'll see what I mean by that as soon as we get started. So here's my first lyric, take me down. I'm gonna put into your paradise right underneath it. And now we'll do don't be scared underneath that. And now, cause I'm your body type, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna come into the scale and I'm gonna put a negative in front of this 10. So negative 10, it will invert the scale so it flips it upside down. So I'm gonna put that here. And I'm gonna do the same thing with type. I'm gonna go negative 10 and I'm gonna put that here. So now by looking at my text, this is my path. I'm starting from take me down, I'm going down I'm flipping the camera over once we get to the bottom and then I'm gonna move to the right in my composition. So now how do we get this looking more spectacular? We're about to do that right now. Come down here, select all your layers and there's a little cube in After Effects. If you don't have this cube here, uh, you, you may have this switch on, toggle switch modes. If yours looks like this, make sure that you see this cube, this little half circle thing in these circles. You're gonna hit this cube and basically what that's gonna do is it's gonna make all these layers 3D. Now it doesn't look like much because we haven't put a camera in yet. So let's uh, highlight all, let's collapse all these layers so we're not looking too messy. And now what we're gonna do is come up to layer, new, camera. And for the sake of this video, let's just make whatever your default camera is here. Uh, just click okay. And that will throw the camera into your composition. And now we're gonna come up to this little thing that says one view. We're gonna change it to two views horizontal. And that's gonna give us a view here of our 3D camera and our composition over on this side. 
So I'm gonna zoom into the camera here and there's three very, very important directions that your camera can travel. It is in on the Z axis, if you hover over the blue arrow, the Z axis, the Y axis, which is this green one, and the X axis, which is the red one. It works exactly like those graphs that you had in school, right? Y is vertical, X is horizontal, and Z is forward and backwards in Z space, 3D space, however you wanna think about it. So take me down the first lyric that starts right here. I'm gonna take my camera and I'm going to move it along the Z axis. And if you see on the right hand side of the screen, it is scaling into my text. So I'm basically going to set up this camera to be right in front of the lyric that I wanna start with first, which is take me down right there. And so that's where I want my camera to be in relation to everything else. And this is a good place to start. So now if we tool down this little arrow next to camera and we go to transform, we have a bunch of keyframes that we can set here. So I'm gonna go ahead and set all of them because I like to do that. A lot of people don't. I like to set all of them because if you make one adjustment later, it could throw off everything else. So always set all your keyframes. So what I wanna do is I wanna pull out of the first lyric, take me down. Now, if you think about it like a piece of paper, this is your After Effects composition. And if you were to shoot this with the camera, you would move the camera in, move the camera away. You can move down if you have a bunch of stuff written on this paper. And that's exactly what we're gonna do, but on a computer. So here's my first lyric, take me down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull the camera back. Just like that. Maybe we won't have the other lyric underneath it showing. So that's the move that I want for the first lyric. I'm gonna set all my keyframes and I'm going to move on to the second lyric. A good rule of thumb is uh, once you get to the end of a lyric, don't go any more than 10 keyframes onto the next one. So basically, look, check this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do eight. And I'm going to move the camera down on the Y axis if you hover over the Y and I'm gonna move it down to my next lyric, which is Into Your Paradise. And if you ever get confused about what your path was, all you have to do is click on this little eye next to the camera and it will show you again kind of where you're going for. So I know that I'm just moving down for right now. So here's Into Your Paradise. So now I'm gonna push in on the camera. There you go. So now on the Z space, I'm just gonna push in here. Don't be scared is next. Move it down on the Y axis, just like we did before. And I'm gonna pull out of this one. There you go, just like that. Now, the next one is a little bit more complicated because we have to flip the camera over. So, cuz is like right about here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to the Z rotation. I'm gonna type in 180 degrees to flip it over completely. And then I'm gonna keep moving on the Y axis because it's still where we are. So I'm gonna move it right there it is. And I'm gonna push in. And I'm gonna push in here. And then type is directly over to the side of the text. So the lyric goes, time. So I'm gonna do that with the camera. So I'm gonna push in, pull out, and then push it again. So there's my push in. And set your keyframes, pull out. Set your keyframes, and then push in again. All right, so now we've done all of our camera movements for the lyrics. Uh, we're feeling pretty good about this so far. The last thing that we're gonna wanna do with the camera is highlight all of our keyframes, right click on them, go to keyframe assistant and set it to easy ease. And basically what that's gonna do is it's gonna smooth out all of the camera movements across your composition. So let's check out what we have. Nice, I'm feeling pretty good about this. So now what we can do is we can come in and we can actually readjust our text to be in the center of our camera frame because as you animate the camera, some weird things start happening, but that's why we did it this way because now I can take my take me down and I can just move it directly into the center. There you go, into your paradise. Uh, it looks okay, maybe we can just move this up a little bit. All right, don't be scared. Maybe we can move this down just a little. All right, because I'm your body, we'll just move it over. So basically what we're doing is we're just correcting all the little mistakes that came from animating the camera. And type will leave the same. And now what I can do is I can actually start coming in here and I can start animating my text in at the same time. So I'm gonna come up to my effects and presets. I'm gonna type in burn, drop in CC burn film right on take me down. And here's my uh, parameters up here in the top left. I'm gonna set my keyframe for burn, click on my layer, hit U on the keyboard, it will show you all your keyframe parameters. 
and I want it to be fully in right there. Come back to my first keyframe and I'm gonna crank this up to 100 and now check this out. It'll start to burn out the text like uh, an old film reel or something. So now when I play this. So now if you wanted to, you can literally do that exact same thing for everything. And the cool thing about After Effects is if I click on the take me down layer and I go up to CC burn film and I copy that. Now, wherever my playhead is on any other layer, if I paste it, it'll do the exact same keyframes in the exact same amount of time. So I'm gonna paste this onto Into Your Paradise and you'll see that it starts to animate in right there. And if you wanted to do Don't Be Scared as well, if you wanted just to keep this kind of theme going for all your text, you can do that as well. Don't be scared, it will animate in. So we'll do it for all of them just to keep it consistent. Maybe we'll leave type no animation since it's off screen. All right guys, looking pretty good so far. Now the last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight all of our text layers again. And we're gonna click on this little box right here with these like three little circles that look like they're moving and that's After Effects Motion Blur. So I'm gonna turn on the motion blur for all the layers and it won't do anything until you turn on motion blur for your comp, which is this little button up here. So now when the camera starts moving, it actually blurs the text out to make it look like it's moving with the camera. If I were to turn the motion blur off, it actually just looks like stark text and is very boring. So we want the text to move with the camera. All right, so let's see what we've got. Nice, that's looking pretty good. I'm actually gonna switch back over to one view. One of the more advanced things in After Effects, and I feel like I'm gonna do an entire video on this later. Uh, so if we look at the camera movement cause for Cause I'm Your Body, it's kind of like, it like doesn't look very smooth, right? So if we come up here to our camera and we know that these keyframes right here are cause I'm your body. Uh, what I can do is I can highlight those keyframes, come over to this thing up here next to the motion blur icon called the graph editor. And it will show you a breakdown of all of your keyframes and how they look and how they feel inside of After Effects. And you can adjust all these parameters individually yourself. Uh, while this is a much more advanced technique and I don't really feel like getting into it for today's video, this is a thing that I will quickly, quickly touch on, but I will do a video about this later. So if I come up here to position and I right click on it, I can click on this thing that says separate dimensions and it will separate my position data into X, Y, and Z so that I can actually come in here, click on Z position and you can see in here that it kind of like dips down. So I can even this out using the little Bezier handles. So it actually will be a lot more fluid with the camera movements. Cause right now it's just kind of all over the place and it's very jagged. But what I can do is I can round all this stuff out so it feels a little bit nicer to watch. And I can do the same thing with the uh, X position as well. See how it kind of just like is really jagged. I can come in here and I can just kind of smooth this out a little bit. Feels a lot more smooth now. So I will do an entire new video on the graph editor. We're not gonna touch that right now. We are looking pretty good on our lyrics here. I feel good about this for now. And what I'm going to do is collapse all my layers, come down here to my color mats, and I'm just gonna click the little eye next to them to turn them off. I'm going to save and I'm going to quit After Effects which will bring us into Premiere and you see that all of your clips that you cut up before has now created one giant video on your timeline. I'm gonna mute this for now so we can scrub through. And basically what this has done is taken your After Effects composition and dropped it right inside of Premiere. That's Adobe Dynamic Link, one of my favorite things. So I found a video online of just a bunch of babes like on the beach, just kind of walking around and having a good time. So I'm gonna take that video, I'm gonna drop it in underneath my composition. So now the video is underneath my lyrics. I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna to go to the color tab and I'm gonna give it the hipster faded film look. So I'm gonna crank up the faded film. You can see it in the background there. Crank up the faded film, maybe crank up the saturation a little bit and then come down here and turn the opacity down to, uh, I don't know, 50%. All right, let's check out what we got. Take me down into your 
Nice, that's pretty cool. Now I know it's a little bit more advanced than what you guys are probably used to, but I guarantee that you learned something cool today. So you know how we dropped the burn film on all of our layers to animate the text in? What you can do now is you can go in and custom animate all of your text to be something totally different, something unique, something cool to you, something that you guys want to do. So the main points to remember, type out all your lyrics, put them in a virtual path that you can follow with a camera, make your camera movements, and then do some text animation. At the end of it, you'll either be really frustrated or you'll come up with something cool that you're excited about. I vote being excited excited about it. Well, I really hope today's lesson was helpful to some of you out there. Rory Kramer, if you ever see this video, thank you for the inspiration and, uh, you know, call me. Let's work on some stuff. <laughs> I'm just No, seriously, call me. I want to work on some stuff. Well, that about does it for me. My name is Nadia Insanes. You can follow me on social media on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. And of course, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also check out last week's video. Both of these options, very exciting stuff. I do this thing now where, like, I don't have anything to do at the end, so I'm just waiting for you to click. Just click, subscribe, tell your friends. Hey, hope you guys had fun today.